All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, Baha Shem, which means in the name, Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son, Baha Shem, in the name, Raka Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. All right. I want to give double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders. A great millstone or GMS. All right. I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations because we've been scattered. All right. James 1 and 1. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And um, I heard a, a, a guy say, I can't remember who it was. But it was in a song. And he said, um, it's easy to commit, but it's hard to resist. Okay? It's easy to commit, but it's hard to resist. And when he said that, you know, because we see and hear and Everything we hear and see, we we look at it with a spiritual eye, okay? We listen with a spiritual ear, okay? So when he said that, I was like, man, yeah, it's easy to commit, you know? Just like in this truth, it's easy to commit, but sticking to it, sticking to things, okay? I commit myself to this, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see something real quick. Uh, bear with me one second. I want to get the word commit. If I have uh, if I can get it to pull up on this other device. And uh, this is Psalms 37 and 5. It says, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Okay. So let me go to the word in the Hebrew. Um, galal. Galal. If I'm saying it uh, correctly. All right, uh, and it's from the Hebrew word one five five six. Okay, and I'm I'm on my other device, so yeah. Uh, it says commit, uh, roll, remove, uh, run down, wallow, occasion, seek occasion. Okay, trust. All right, so basically trust. Okay. Let me see. Can I get another one? Uh, let's see what this one is. Okay. Let me see. Ah, oh, that's a phrase. Let me see. So lucky. I'm just trying to find. Let's see. All right, so let me just go back. We just used the one in Psalms, okay, out of Psalms 37, and let me click on it. Why is this acting this way? Bear with me one second. Uh... Let me pull it up, Psalms 37. Salaki is just running slow. Salaki again. Oh. Psalms 37. Come on now. And five. 
let me go up a little bit. Uh, okay, so Psalms 37. Let me start at verse. Uh, let me start at one. This is Psalms 37 and one. It says, "Fret, a uh, Psalm of David. All right, fret not thyself because of evil doers." Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord, okay, and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Okay, or your mind. Commit thy way. Okay. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Okay. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. So we can commit. Then, like I quoted, the guy says, uh, it's easy to commit. Okay. But it's hard to resist. What's the resistance? The flesh. And as we know, as the scripture says, we're subject to sin. Why? Because we're in this flesh. All right. And this flesh is constantly warring against the spirit. Okay. As we know through the scriptures. Okay. Uh, Paul said in uh, Romans 7. Let me get there real quick. Romans 7. And uh, uh, let me uh, start at 15. This is Romans 7 and uh, 15. It says, For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. You see? And what do we hate? We hate going off, man. Okay? But we're subject to sin. Okay? The scripture says there is not a just man. As a matter of fact, let me see. Can I get that in uh, Ecclesiastes? I think it's the seventh chapter. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. I'm just getting in my scriptures. It's lucky. Uh, yeah, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. It says, For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. So, we all subject to sin, man. Okay? We all subject to sin. So, there's not a just man, okay, upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not, man. Okay? We all go off. But as the scriptures say, we are to offend less, you know. But the resistance is that flesh. It's easy to commit, but it's hard to resist. And Satan is just coming out of the out of left field, man. Okay. Uh, whether it be through, you know, he, whatever temptation is is strong. Okay, it could be women. It could be uh, uh, eaten, okay? Whatever you know you we're weakest behind, Satan is going to use that, you know, to, to put up that resistance, okay? To to what? To the, commit, the commitment that we've made unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? We committed, yeah, we in this. Then here come the resistance, all of them jabs, man, okay? Oh, the woman. She's going to come at you when, I, right when I was getting ready to do this lesson, phone ring. Lo and behold, no way, no. Nah. And then today is the Sabbath too, you know. I got to get this lesson up and it's the Sabbath. I don't, we don't even need to have, really don't even have to have, to have no conversation until this evening. But, and by that time, we'll be on the block, so. Maybe at no, because I gotta go to work. So, just maybe a conversation, but nothing other than that. But they always want to hit when you' about to do a lesson or get to studying, you know. Uh, 
maybe family, okay? Satan will use them to 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 for the resistance, the fight of resistance through the flesh, man. Okay? And like I said, whatever it may be, okay, that our flesh, you know, lusts after. I mean that's what it is. Okay, whether it could be eating, you know, uh, uh, or like I said, the woman or family, Satan is going to use those devices, okay, to to try to get at us. And that's going to be that resistance, you know, but the scripture says that we have to come in through the uh, straight gate, you know. Um, in the Apocrypha, it says one side is uh, water. And the other side is fire. Let me see. Can I get there real quick? Let me see. Where is it? Uh, is it 15? No. Um. Uh, I can't think of where it's at right off the top of my head. Hold on, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it. Salakia. Okay, Salakia, second Esdras. All right, so this is second Esdras, uh, seven. And, um, man, really could start at one, but I'm going to get straight to the point. Um, I started verse 6, 2nd Ezra 7 and 6. There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. Okay. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Okay. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water and one only path between them both. Even between the fire and the water, so small that there could be, but there could, but one man go there at once. You see, if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Okay, how shall we receive the kingdom of heaven? Okay. And like I said, that fire and that water, that represents the, the, the resistance, man. Okay? How whatever uh, form it may come in, you know? So it's easy to commit, but it's hard to resist. That's why it's a straight gate, a, a position of difficulty. It's easy to fall here in Babylon. Okay? There's so many things. This, this whole place... Just caters to, to the lust of the flesh, man. Okay, whatever it may be, you know. You you got an eating problem, they got buffets. Sex, where do you starting in, you know? And etc. Okay. So again, the quote was, it's easy to commit. But it's hard to resist. The, the, the scriptures speak about, um, what is that, numbers? Let's get that. A vow. Okay. Let me get that real quick. When we vow a vow, all right, we got to stick to it, man. Uh, is it 15? No. I think it's in like 30. Uh, yep, right here. <laughs> Numbers 30. And uh, let me see. What what, what Vaughn? What Vaughn say? Salaki. I started one. This is Numbers 30 and 1. Let me do this on the screen on time. Out. <laughs> it says, And Moses spake unto... The heads of the tribes concerning the children of Yasha'Allah. 
Israel, all right, saying, this is the thing which the Lord Yahweh Yahushai had commanded. Slovakia just got off work. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. You see? And we're committed to this thing. Okay? And we 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 vowed. Alright? Once we, we put our hand to the plow, we took a vow until Yahabashim Yahushai. And the scripture says about was that uh Luke uh is it nine? Let me see. Let me pull it up. Alright, yep, Luke nine and uh let me see. Luke 9 and 62 is the last verse. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. You see? So we got to stick to it, man. Even though the resistance is going to be great, especially getting, you know, towards the end, this devil is going to pull out all the stops, you know? But the elect is going to endure on into the end, man. Okay, so again, it's easy to commit, you know, you make the commitment, but it's hard to resist, you know, it's going to be a lot of resistance, a lot of things that are going to going to come up to try to knock us off that that path, you see, but we got to fight, you know, through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh so um, I'm going to end it right there. Like I said, I just heard that and, um, you know, decided to do a lesson. And Lord willing, this was edifying. All right. So with that, I'm going to close and say something to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom.